All right, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you're doing fine. So today we're gonna have a look at the original map, the first map of Unchodan, and we're gonna check out what Crytek changed. So the first one is rather uneventful. We're gonna have a look at Cyprus. And if you can see here, inside of Cyprus, nothing really changed. But when we look to the south side, to the extraction side, you can see that at the bottom of the ramp, there is now this wooden wall. Yes, it's a wooden wall, so will it do much? I think you can reach the ramp with a little bit more cover, but the, the ramp is, you know, a pretty bold attempt at charging the boss layer anyway. So far, it's an okay change, but we'll probably not do too much. And next up, we have Devon Ranch. Two changes. Outside and inside. Outside, we have here this chicken coop. Normally, you know, on live server, it's way closer to this building here. And we also have a little bit more fence there. Not a huge change in my opinion. Inside though, we have multiple changes and we're gonna check them out right now. So facing west from this boss layer here, from the riding hall, you have now this elevated position here with these two new windows. When people come from Cyprus, when they push from the west side, you can now open these windows and shoot and defend from over there. Also, this window here, I think that one is new. At least I don't remember this one, maybe I'm wrong. So be careful here, lots of frags will be flying in there. That's it regarding the ground level, but we also have something upstairs. When we go upstairs, they rework the windows here. So for example, we have now this one west, that one is new. So again, if people are coming from that direction or they're pushing from the water side, you can shoot them. Same with the east side, there was no window before, you had to wall bang basically through the tiny cracks or shoot by sound. Now you actually have a window that you can open and that's it. I think those are all reworks for Devon. <laughs> nothing major, nothing too huge. A few minor changes that you might want to know, especially the window here at the crowd troll. Be careful with that one. And otherwise, I'm not the biggest fan of shooting outside of windows because it makes yourself an easy target. But hey. And this one is making me actually pretty sad, but I'm probably... One of the few people who are the reason why they changed this, look at the windows. Yeah, they are completely covered now in paper. So everywhere where you could from the inside look outside and it's actually kind of easy to see people then. Even inside. So this is sealed off now. You can see from outside through the glass people inside, but this is way more difficult than looking from inside at people outside. I do understand why they made this change. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I do understand it. So yeah, this will be a little bit more difficult. Some of the windows still have a few cracks where there's no paper, but it will make shooting from inside people outside more uh, shooting by sound than actually shooting by you can see people. But hey. What I do like though are these changes right here between Blanchett and Lock Bay. That was always a little bit awkward to go over there, passing that area here was just water. So I'm pretty happy that they added more cover here, that is pretty cool. Because the alternative way was the walkway. And that is, well, you're kind of exposed there, right? I like this because now pushing Lock Bay or, you know, going from Lock Bay over to Blanchett, you have now more cover. It's not much, but I think it will feel really, really good now to cross that. Oh boy, massive reworks for this one. So I'm here at Catfish, and this is where normally the walkway is. Or back in the days there was a walkway here with the super exposed clues. This is gone. Now you have a watchtower over there, you have way more land. A walkway here, so this is pretty cool. Well, we remember these huts here, right? This is nothing out of the ordinary. But you can already see here, southwest west, they have now more locks here even with a little hole there, so you can shoot from there. So that is pretty cool. And this is not everything. There's one thing that is, I think this is actually unique to all the Hunt Shoulder maps. Also, they reworked here a little bit, the hut. You see this right there? It's basically a remote feature for this door right here. So this one works too. You can use this one, but you can also use the other one in the back. Which is pretty nice, so you're not that super exposed when you want to push the boss layer and there's somebody sitting with a shotgun. Normally they can blast you then by jumping at the window. 
not possible anymore if you're a little bit further back. Also, this little bridge here is a pretty nice detail. I love it. Also, they reworked the boss layer. And again, a nice little view here. The changes. That's not it though. We have way more here. I was quite surprised when I watched the dev stream and they were like, yeah, this is a little bit too open. Uh, how do we solve this? Oh yeah, a bridge would be cool. So they're just like, you know what? Big bridge. Let's take a little bit of fall damage here. There we go. Also, I think this ramp is new. I like this. Way more options to maneuver. Way less exposed clues. That is always like something that... That is something there is no counterplay, right? If a clue is super exposed and there is no cover, you just die. This walkway right here. It is nice, but it's still dangerous. There is no metal cover, and most of it is wood, if there is any cover at all. We have this little hut here. Nothing special, to be honest, but still a nice position. I think catfish will be a really fun compound to find. Of course, you know, if you're not using um, explosive crossbows or frag arrows and stuff like that. I think that covered most of the changes of catfish. And yeah, I hope we will get some nice PvP matches. Oh, there's one more. Exactly. We have right here this vegetation part. So there was way more water. It's less now. The hills are now connected here with some muddy terrain. Which is quite a huge deal because on live server there is water in between these islands. That means if there's one water devil and you aggro him, that is really annoying. That doesn't exist anymore. So I absolutely like the changes for catfish. Then this one is rather simple, Healing Waters Church. They added a new entry point for the boss lane. So right here, this is underneath the stairs at Healing Waters, at the northwest corner. You can now go down this tunnel to the crypt. And the crypt, honestly, pushing that one is already pretty tough. So you have the hole where, you know, you have to crouch. So if people see you, you're an easy target or they cook something. And it's really hard to get out of there if you're not fast enough. So they have another entry point. It's still tough because, well, you have this metal door there, the crank. But this bossler definitely needed more entry points. Thumbs up from me. And here we have absolute insanity. Lock Bay was already for unexperienced players, I would say. Tough to do some PvP there because if you know all the angles and where you can go and the escape routes, it's pretty nuts. And now look at this. They finally got rid of this big huge window here. They have now these small ones. But you have also this entry point now, which is crazy in my opinion. Then they added this here, another roof, and you also have another entry point now with this window here. So you have two new entry points at the top level, which is pretty crazy now to defend. I mean, it's a metal roof, so you will hear them move there, so you know from where they're coming. But still, not always you can protect yourself against that. This there is a new crack, so that's also pretty nice. And, well, what's this over there? Yep. See it correct? They added an elevator connecting the basement with this level here. Also, that's not all. They reworked the texture on the ground. So you can hear now by the mud steps or by the stone steps, the wood steps, where people are. And it's a little bit easier to tell if people are in the basement or at the ground level. So yeah, Lock Bay will be really interesting for future PvP fights. That's gonna be a crazy cat and mouse game. Then, Reynard Mill Lama didn't get the most changes, but it got a very important one. This one right here. So they finally broke up this log wall here at the northeast side. And this is really good, because if you were fighting there, north side, and people were shooting at you, it was really difficult to retreat. There was no cover, so they added now this one here. So you either had to fight back, push, hide in the reeds, which is just visual cover, or fall all the way back again. So I really like this extra hole there. And pitching crematorium. That one needed a lot of rework. So you can already see they added another sniper spot there across the beam. Yeah, I will probably not try to sit there. Also, they added this little door here, which is... Yep, okay, nice little environment detail there. West is a little bit more with extended runes there. But honestly, outside west, east, not super interesting. Because the most interesting part is downstairs, especially this ramp here. This ramp was super annoying because people downstairs, they could always see you first. They see your legs before you can see them. 
and that was an issue. So now they added this thing here, this barricade. You cannot see from this side up. There are a few cracks, so if you're holding still, and there's probably one sweet spot where you can actually see somebody, but it's way more difficult now. And look at that, another door to enter the boss lair. North side of the basement, right here, you can now vault these windows. Lovely addition, because I can't stress this enough. There shouldn't be too many ladders at high PvP, high PvP areas because they make you vulnerable. Also, they reworked a little bit the outer part. Inside, this part right here, we are now in the southwest corner. We have a new wall, which separates these two entry points. It's amazing because people now sitting at the lantern cannot cover both entry points anymore. Also, a nice little double door there. And elevator got a rework. You can fit now your whole team on that just to die to one dynamite. Yep, that is great. I mean, it's a nice rework, but again. Also, this one here changed massively this town system here. It's wider now, it's more separated. We have a little bit more breaks in there. And this was really necessary. Pushing, pitching crematorium was not fun. Hopefully, the changes will make it a bit easier. Port Rica got a minor change. Nothing too big, actually. The southwest side of the compound has now this ramp for easier access. So you don't have to run all the way north now or back east to actually get inside. Nothing major. We will see how much impact that little ramp will actually have on the live server then. Okay, let's have a look at Scapa Lake. Um, or should I say Scapa Pond? Maybe Scapa Puddle? Yeah, you probably saw a few memes regarding Scapa Lake by now. Now, between Port Rica and Scapa Lake, they added these walkways. And also, as you can see, way more terrain. I'm a huge fan of that, honestly. Also, I think they upgraded the watchtower there. There's one huge issue with water. Or actually, there's multiple issues. The first one is it's super loud. People can hear you from super far away and you're most likely slow walking, especially if you don't have gator legs. So people hear you and you're a slow walking target. Not good. Also, if you're really unlucky, some water devils spawn in the worst moment ever and basically zone you out. That's just not fun. And as you can see here, way less water. You will hear it actually a lot the next couple of minutes. They added this spawn area here and I would say it's almost looking like an arena. When you're sitting down here in the middle, you're protected south, you're protected west, China, you're protected north, you're open to the east, but still, it's a nice area to group up if it's getting a little bit spicy when you find the bounty carriers over there in the main lair. Again, here, major rework, way less water, and you enter Scapa Lake now by crossing this fenced area here. So Scapa Lake now has way more fence, showing you where actually the compound starts and where it ends. That's pretty nice. One scenic picture here. A huge issue that Scapa Lake had, and as you can see, they're trying to solve this here with more obstacles for, you know, taking cover and a few more buildings. Most of the fighting was west on the till from Scapa Lake and north in the forest area. That's where everybody was waiting. Only very few people actually approached Scapa Lake from the south or from here, the east side. And as you can see, more cover, less water, gives you more space for rotating. And that was, for me, always the biggest issue of Scapa Lake. Attacking Scapa Lake was okay, defending was was ass, because that thing is just built out of paper and everybody can wallbang you. So, let's have a look inside. They added this ramp now here, so you can vault on this box a little bit more easily. And they have now this crowd hole here. So before you had to take this ladder there and then drop down if you wanted to enter the boss lair, or go further west and hop through the window. So another extra entry point. Just ignore the trials messages here. I tried to queue on the test server on the actual map, but after half an hour, an hour not actually getting the bio map, I gave up and used the trials. Also down here, the northeast area, you have now a little bit more cover. In general, in the boss layer area, they reworked a little bit where the cover is. I think it's looking better right now, but honestly, um, we need way more combat and way more PvP over there to properly evaluate that. Now, that's it for inside. 
they changed a bit more outside again if we go around the corner here you will see holy moly that is a lot of land and i love it it's still open it's still dangerous to go from there but at least not everybody in 100 meters radius will hear where you are because water footsteps and the moment we go north here again you can see way less water they have a walkway now here no, nice little addition. It's still tough and dangerous to push from over there. But I like it. And that's it for Scuffle Lake. And at the end, a little bit of freestyle. Let's have a discussion regarding the compounds. So, Cypress. Cypress is on the live server. The compound that I like the least. And honestly, with 1.7, this will absolutely not change. Catfish and Scuffle Lake. I think they will be pretty fun. Lots of reworks, lots of new paths that you can explore and you can rotate. And that's the main issue with Cyprus for me. The whole southern part, exceptions may be long ammo snipers or snipers in general, you stay away from the south side and everything feels so clumped up at Cyprus. Not a huge fan. And just adding a little bit of fence there in the water, yeah, that will not do it. I kind of would like to see a similar rework as, for example, for Scuppa Lake. The changes for Devon Branch, I think they're just so little. I'm not a huge fan regarding peeking out of windows because you should not do that against experienced players because they will just dome you the moment you peek. Blanchet, I do understand why they put all the paper in there. I'm not a huge fan of it though because, dang it, I enjoy shooting people through the glass. What I absolutely love though is the change between Blanchet and Lock Bay. Adding more islands, adding more trees, adding more cover. Really fun. Surprisingly enough, almost never going from Blanchet to Lock Bay I get actually shot. I I'm surprised. It happens almost never. It's a very common place for people to go though. And it's very easy to ambush. Suddenly, but I mean suddenly... I don't know why, but almost nobody is doing that. Nobody ambushes over there. But now it feels way more comfy to go over there. I like these changes a lot. Then the next one is Catfish, and Catfish is just absolutely crazy. I love that they got rid of the walkway, the southeast corner of the compound, where you had at the end of the walkway this uh, clue, super exposed. I don't know why they're doing that. These super exposed clues, they are just BS in my opinion. There is no counterplay for that. If somebody is sitting in a bush at 150 meters, you absolutely will not see them. There is no play around, so the only thing you can do is skip the exposed clue, which kind of breaks the flow of the game, or you always play with Serpent. Yeah, alright. So I'm happy that this is gone. I like that they added a lot of bridges. It will still be tough for people who like to play with an explosive crossbow, maybe, because there's still a lot of water. But I'm looking forward to get some catfish PvP. Did I just say that? Man, <laughs> we, hey, we live in some very weird hunt showdown times, I'm telling you that. Then healing waters, just a minor change, but the impact might be huge. Another entry point for the boss lair, where you don't have to crouch through a hole. Hell yeah, dude, I take that. Lock Bay surprised me, honestly. Lock Bay was already, when you had good map knowledge, and map knowledge is really important in Hunt regarding PvP, you could outplay people a lot. You could dodge them, you could ambush them, you could backstep them, and now they added even more possibilities for that. Ooh, yep, that's gonna be spicy. Lumber, for example, again, a single change. But that will have quite the impact. I absolutely hated pushing from that northeast side because if you got caught there, you either have to quickly kill them yourself or retreat all the way back into cover or sit in a bush because that's all there is as cover. So I almost never went that way. This might change now, so looking forward to test that. Pitching, honestly, the change will do a lot. Pitching is nuts. Pitching basement is always a true terror regarding pushing. I lost count how many times I died down there because they were sitting somewhere and it was almost impossible to push that. 
The door that gives you another access point to the boss lair is nice. Also that they got rid of the ladder. I'm not a huge fan of ladders, especially in the high PvP zones. You're just too vulnerable over there. Also, the ramp, you can finally push it now a little bit easier. So we will have a look at that. Outside, yes, they wrote in the patch notes, they added the sniper spot there where you can use the beam. But let's be completely honest. Most of the time, you will not sit there. All right. And of course, the rune reworks. Not too impactful. The pitching definitely needed the rework. Will people now start to push pitching though? That is the real question. And I think, yeah, we will have to wait and see. It's definitely easier now. But again, shotguns, they are supreme down there. Of course, like no complaining there. I mean, <laughs> it's a shotgun. Where else should it be good if not in a basement? Am I right? So yeah, I need to play this a little bit more to actually give their good judgment. Then uh, Port Rica. Oh yeah, okay, they added a ramp there. I don't think that will do too much. And then Scapa Lake is, uh, yeah, um, a little bit of a controversial topic, actually. People are worried that Scapa Lake will you will uh, lose its uniqueness. I mean, <laughs> you can't satisfy people, apparently. First, there were a shit ton of memes. Oh, Scapa Lake, I hate it compound so much. Now they changed it and addressed the topics that, you know, most of the community was complaining about. And now it's like, yeah, but actually we didn't like that. You, you can't please them all. You, you can't please them all. I like the couple leg changes. There, I said it. I like it. From a PvP point and not from a lore point or from an aesthetic point or from a uniqueness point. From a PvP point, the changes are good. They're good. Let's see. I, I think Scapa Lake and Catfish, they will be compounds where I actually will enjoy going again. I didn't like Catfish and I didn't like Scapa Lake. They were okay to fight. Now, please, that would be my wish for this map now. Catfish, no, not Catfish, Cyprus. Cyprus, the south of it. And, and, I'm surprised there was no rework for that one. Um, Stillwater and Chapel. So, the two eastern compounds. I still would like to see more access to the basements. It's still uh, a little bit tough. Maybe one day. All right, that's it. That was actually a pretty long discussion part, uh, way too long. Let's roll the outro. And we have one more map to discuss. The patch is out now, so go and have some fun. People who I wish the best can be seen here, my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Final part coming in the next days. I see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye bye.